Today, I'll be sharing ways that staycation can be just as much fun as a traditional vacation. Don't go away. Rose colored glasses, take one. Hi, I'm Dana. And I'm Angel. And you're watching Rose Colored Glasses with Lord and Lady Logan. In a world where people are quick to talk about the things they dislike, we want to keep it positive. So we'll be individually and collectively telling you about all the things we do like. We hope you enjoy the show. And if you do, please hit the subscribe button, tell your friends, and come back again. Hi everyone, I'm Angel Logan and thank you for joining me today on Rose Color Glasses with Lord and Lady Logan. If you're new to our channel and you want to watch some of our previous shows, or you're a current subscriber trying to catch up on episodes that you've missed, you can search us on YouTube by typing at Rose Color Glasses Logan, going to the hashtag Rose Color Glasses, or type the following web address into your browser youtube.com slash at rosecolorglasses-logan. I've talked about different ways to make living on a budget easier, but what about taking a vacation? With the cost of inflation, high fuel prices, and even higher costs for travel, many can't take the traditional vacation the way they did before. What can we do about that? We all deserve some time off from work and school, as well as a break from the regular chronicles of daily living. So I think we need to try the next best thing, which is having a staycation. What is that? It is exactly what it sounds like. It's a stay at home or close to home vacation, which is far more cost effective and feasible when you can't afford transportation and lodging. When health concerns are a factor, when work obligations make it impossible to travel too far away from home, or for some people, all of the above. I understand how disappointing this can be because Dana and I missed a few trips away in recent years because of COVID concerns and work demands, but this does not mean that all is lost. You can have a spectacular time relaxing and doing a variety of things that give you joy right in your own backyard or not too far away from home during your fun-filled staycation. The best staycation is the kind that feels like a real vacation. Just the way you would make plans for traveling to a destination, you should plan ahead for your staycation. Start by making a list of all the fun and relaxing things that you would normally do if you went away, along with any recreational activities that you've wanted to do at home, but you just haven't had the time to do. Then, choose the items on your list that are the most feasible that will fit within a reasonable budget and create an itinerary. Now you don't have to follow it strictly, but this might be a great way to keep you on track and get the most out of your staycation time. Another tip would be to prepare and freeze your meals ahead of your time off. You wouldn't normally be cooking on a vacation away, so it only makes sense that you shouldn't be doing this during your staycation. The same applies for house cleaning and laundry. Make sure you have all of that done beforehand to really enjoy your free time. I think that the best rule of thumb would be to make this as close to a regular vacation as possible, whether you're on your own, part of a couple, or you have a family. You may be brimming with ideas by now for your staycation, but just in case you need a little help, here are a few suggestions that you might enjoy. Visit a park and have a picnic. This activity can be so much fun and relaxing while enjoying a little nature and quality time with one another. Check out some tourist sites in your area. So often people don't think to visit the cool places within their own cities or towns and don't realize how many amazing things there are to do close to home. 
visit a local winery or brewery for a tasting. This has become a very popular thing to do. Just make sure that you work out safe transportation if you plan to partake in the tasting process or have a designated driver. Attend a local or nearby music festival. These events can be a lot of fun with all types of performances and attractions to keep you entertained. Visit a local carnival or amusement park. Quite often, the only time we have to go to these is during the weekend when it's the busiest, but planning a visit on a weekday during your time off might be a little less congested and a lot more fun. While there are costs with some of these activities, it might be more affordable now because you aren't faced with the normal travel expenses that you would have had if you went away on vacation. Also, if you're single and without a family to join you, you could still enjoy some of these activities on your own. There's no reason why you can't go out and have just as much fun while meeting new people and making new friends. Now, I'm going to share some activities that you can do away from home or, if you're on a tight budget, your own version at home. For instance, you might pack up your sleeping bags and tent for an overnight or even weekend camping trip at a campground not too far away. However, camping can be just as much fun in your own backyard telling ghost stories under the stars with a few battery operated twinkle lights, singing songs or playing a few games, especially if you have kids. And if you have a grill, you can have a cookout, roast some marshmallows and make s'mores, or get as creative as you want to make it a special time. Going to a day spa is another fun thing to do because we usually never have enough time between work, school, and other activities to get pampered. Not to mention, in this day and age, the spa is not just for women anymore. Every gender can appreciate a deep tissue or athletic massage, sweating off calories in the sauna, or a little special attention to hands and feet especially if you work in an extremely physical job and you're on your feet all day long. However, if the cost of a day spa is not in your budget, why not create a fun spa day at home? The location isn't as important as the idea that we all need to pamper ourselves from time to time. What better time than during your staycation? What about visiting a local entertainment center that has lots of games to choose for kids and adults? Many have nighttime hours for adults only with earlier hours designated for kids. These types of places are cool because you can win a variety of prizes to take home from the points that you build up while playing the games. Of course, if this isn't an option, then try having a game day at home. You could pull out the cornhole game, which is always a lot of fun though I hate that name, so I always call it the beanbag toss game. You could create an obstacle course in the backyard for a little tournament if you have the space, and if weather isn't cooperating, you could grab some board games or play some other fun indoor games. I've shared a lot of great options, but I think that my top pick for a staycation activity would be to dedicate at least one day for a road trip. It doesn't have to be too far away or an overnight excursion, but getting out of the house to go to a beach, a lake, a nearby mountain, or whatever you enjoy the most, while making a full day of it to go swimming in the ocean, canoeing in a lake, or hiking might be just what you need to really get away from it all. Whatever you choose to do is entirely up to you as long as you can keep within your budget and it's feasible. Remember, just because you can't travel far away for whatever reasons, it doesn't mean that you can't have the time of your life on the best staycation ever. We want to hear from you. In the comments section below, tell us something fun that you've done on your own staycation. Thank you for watching. If you click on more in the description section below, right above the comments, you'll find links and information about our channel in today's show. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you're enjoying our show. 
and I hope that you'll visit again to take a look through our rose-colored glasses. Until next time.